Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a really good weekend, and welcome to episode number nine in a continuing series called Waywords, in which I try to introduce you to a new word every Sunday, tell you a little bit, uh, a little bit about its definition, where it came from, um, how it came to English, and uh, pass it along to you. So I guess one of the most interesting things I heard or about this week's word is how I heard about it. Um, I was just hopping around on uh, different Twitter users' pages. And this is in, you know, that little blurb spot where people put, you know, baker, candlestick maker, dog lover, you know, the, the little blurb. Someone actually used this word in that spot. And, you know, I'd never heard it, so of course I went to go look up what it actually was. And this is what it is. The word is limerence. And it is an involuntary state of mind which seems to result from a romantic attraction for another person combined with an overwhelming obsessive need to have one's feelings reciprocated. Uh, a little usage note. Uh, conventional love, by contrast, uh, requires no reciprocity. So, um, you know, it's not conventional love in that sense. It's it's a real, like the definition says, an obsessive feeling or need to be loved in return on top of the love that, um, or the, the intense attraction that you have to someone else. Uh, limerence also is not infatuation, which includes aspects of immaturity and extrapolating from insufficient information. It's sort of an automatic reaction, uh, not the production of an individual's decision or some sort of rational process. It is something that just happens to people that seem predisposed to this condition. It's sometimes referred to as being in love with someone uh, as opposed to loving someone. Um, since non-limerents, as they are called, people who do not experience limerence um, uh, also use these terms to describe their feelings. These terms don't provide a really adequate definition, but I think the usage note is interesting because it um, lets you know that it's not just sort of conventional romantic love. It's this obsessive uh, attraction and need to have that attraction reciprocated especially. Um, well, where did the word come from? This uh, It's actually a neologism, which means uh, someone basically just made up a word and said, it's a word now. And that person was Dorothy uh, Tanoff, T-E-N-N-O-V. Um, she was a professor of psychology at the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut, and she just made it up. She wrote um, a book back in the 70s, around 1977, called Love and Limerence, where she, I think, sort of draws some um, similarities and differences between the two concepts. So, um, by the way, I, this might be a twofer. If, if you don't know what neologism is, it's just a, a new word that uh, you can probably tell that by looking at it, neo, new, logos, word, um, that someone just uh, makes up for convenience or whatever other reason and bring straight into a language. It doesn't evolve over centuries in a language. It's just uh, made up sort of ad hoc. Um, so that's the word for this week. Uh, there are no literary usages because I thought the background and um, how I came across it might be interesting enough. So I'll let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.